A lot of people on this internet will tell you fake it till you make it, but you can fake it until you make it. And then what happens when you make it and the real person shows up? Like you don't wanna attract just followers. You want to attract true fans who ride for you. You wanna attract fans who will share your story. You wanna attract fans who will actually buy things from you. You want to attract people who will speak your name in rooms that you are not in. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra. For those who are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button just to stay up to date with my latest uploads. So here on my channel, we are all about creating a life you love. So with that being said, let's hop into today's video. So I'm super excited because today we are kicking off a series called Sierra on Social, where we're talking all things branding, marketing, and entrepreneurship. And if you guys are interested in those topics, be sure to be here every Wednesday as we will be dropping all the gems here on this channel. So first things first, in the lineup, we're gonna be talking about personal branding. And I just kinda wanna start off what personal branding is not because I kinda feel like we can get a little bit confused here in this world, in this social media age, and just what we see on the internet. So initially, like I want you to think about personal branding. A lot of times people go to like, oh, I love the vibe of her page or, oh, I love that she has the cream presets or, oh, I love that she only has Stanley cups or, oh, I love this about her aesthetic. And the thing is like aesthetics go into branding, but it is not necessarily your personal brand. Pretty much in a nutshell, a personal brand is your skills, your talents, and your experience that define you as a person professionally and personally, and what people perceive from those things that you offer. Perception can be reality, honestly. When you think about it, you are a walking billboard for yourself, so you wanna make sure you're showing up as your best self in all places, not only on social media. So in today's video, we're gonna be really honing on on the social media piece, but personal branding goes outside of social media. Think about how you show up at places such as work, or places that you frequent often like the gym or like services that you go get done. Like people have a perception of you if you frequent those places often or even if you don't. Like just how you show up to a place, like that is how people perceive you. That is your personal brand. So be mindful of how you're actually showing up in these places. Like I previously said, like you are a walking billboard for yourself. So when you think about a billboard, what does your billboard say about you? Even like if you think of like a Google search, if you Google search your name, what would you want to pop up under your name? And I think this should really resonate with like your inner insights, like your core values. Like what is you to, what, who are you to the core pretty much? Are you authentic? Are you a caring person? Do you have great customer service skills? Like think about who you are as a person and that should be what comes up in your Google search. And also think about, you know, some of the things that you're good at or what people know you for. Like really start to hone on on those things. And when you think about how you interact day to day in life, is that what people think of you? Is that what people see of you? Are you showing up as your true authentic self? And maybe you are showing up as your true and authentic self and you might be wanting to rebrand but i feel like you really have to be authentic if you're going to rebrand because a lot of people on this internet will tell you fake it till you make it but you can fake it until you make it and then what happens when you make it and the real person shows up so make sure you're really actually doing the work walking the walk talking the talk like be real like be who you are show up with your strengths so you can make sure you're attracting who you need to attract the second thing I just want to hit on is building something you cannot be fired from. I mentioned that in my last two videos, but it is so important. It's something that I learned from Tony Gaskins in 2020 during the pandemic while everybody was laid off, including me. I took that time to really focus on myself and figure out like what things do I like, what I don't like. And in that moment, like it really birthed the entrepreneur in me and realized I like to do a lot of things. And it's okay if you like to do a lot of things, just make sure it works for you. And at this point, like if you're younger here in life, start figuring out what you like to do and what you don't like to do. Because at the end of the day, I feel like you don't want to be stuck in a position where you're like, oh, I'm stuck. I don't know what else to do. Start to figure out those other things that you like to do. Another thing to also think about when building something you cannot be fired from 
Um, I've been talking to a lot of people here lately and a lot of these people have been in their 50s and their 40s and their late 30s and a lot of them are realizing like they kind of are at a place at what's next like they've been working in their career for a certain amount of years and they're like okay what's next what do i do at your job you have learned a certain amount of skills whether it's your exact job or skills outside of your job description so you have those skills that you're learning in your nine to five. How can you take those skills and build it for something for yourself? How can you monetize something that you're passionate about and use the skills that you've learned throughout the years to really make that come to life? So this is a time to really think about what talents and skills do you actually offer? Like, and, and honestly, while you have your nine to five, that is the best time to really experiment if you feel like you don't know. Like the nine to five gives you the stability of a job. And in a world where the, the economy is so crazy right now, I wouldn't suggest anybody just quit their job to pursue a passion. Keep your security and start pursuing your passions on the side and figure out what you like, what you're passionate about, and how you can actually help people. But the next thing that I want to hit on is showing up on social media. And I feel like social media can be kind of a scary place for, I want to say, like people who are like older than like millennials. Like I just feel like people like they get on social media, they don't really understand the aspect of it. But social media is now like the networking place for everything. When people want to scope people out, they go check out their Instagram, they go check out their LinkedIn. And it's important that you are showing up how you want to be perceived and authentically on your social media pages. When people go to your social media page, you want them to know exactly who you are, what you can offer and how you can help them pretty much solving their problem. You want people to come to your page and know how you can solve their problem. And this can be done through content and like, People get so scary with content, but it's like you have the knowledge within to share with others. So make sure on your social media page, you're not just selling whatever you're offering. Like that's the thing, we can get too salesy when we become entrepreneurs, but make sure that you're offering insights to people to where it's not super salesy. Because if you're super salesy, some people might automatically see that as a turnoff. So make sure you're providing some sort of insights for your people who come across your page. And that can be done through educational content and as well as inspirational content. And between those two, you want to sprinkle in your promotional content as well. So you make sure you are having that impact. You are making the money and you are using your skills to the best of your ability now when it comes to actually starting to build out your social media profiles i want you guys to really focus on one or two profiles and the thing about content creation and it's so clever right now is there are so many different platforms that you can be on but it is so easy to repurpose content these days like if you record a long form content like on something like this like my youtube I can take clips from this video and make them into TikToks, make them into reels. And also like, even if you think about this topic that I'm talking about right now, I can literally write that as a blog post and post it on a LinkedIn profile. So it's like repurpose your content in many different ways. So you have LinkedIn, you have Twitter, you have Instagram, you have TikTok. Like you can take this one topic of building your brand on social media and repurpose that content on every different profile appropriately. And if you have video content like this, you can literally make TikToks, Reels, you can do Instagram um, posts just with the videos. And it's just like, it's so simple and there's so many different ways to do it. Um, you can have a video where you're actually talking, you can have words on the screen. Like a lot of people get like super, super a lot of people get super camera shy and it's not, it don't have to be that serious y'all. Y'all can literally make a video of you talking into your ring light just like this, blah, 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 talk, talk, talk. And you can have like words going across the screen or you can do a voiceover to where it's not like super intense. And it doesn't even have to be like this front facing view. It can be like a side facing view. And it just, you can even act like you're talking, but then you can come on later and actually do a voiceover to make it make sense for your audience, so. 
Content can get be super easy and I think a lot of people make it more complex than it needs to be. When you can literally do one thing and repurpose it over all the social media platforms. And then um, another thing that goes hand in hand with social media is to make sure you're being consistent. Like I said, people go to your Instagram pages, people go to your YouTube channels, people go to your profiles to see what's up with you. And if you post sporadically, they might not wanna keep up because they're like, I don't really know what's going on here, what she's talking about. So make sure you have a plan. Think of yourself like as a TV sitcom. Like you know, every Sunday, Real Housewives of Atlanta is gonna come on. So make, make your own like schedule. So every day, Sierra is gonna come on on Wednesdays talking about branding, marketing, and entrepreneurship. So establish yourself as your own program. Really develop like a cadence and a routine so you know every Wednesday I'm gonna be here with the tips. And, and I say this because developing a cadence and a routine will really help people follow you. They will know when and where to find you. So be consistent, find your routine, find your day you're gonna post. And like, I wanna say like, you have to post multiple times, but like say for YouTube, I'm gonna show up every Wednesday on YouTube. And then for Instagram, I'm gonna show up every day. I'm gonna at least be posting some type of story or post or real like, and like I said, you have all of this content you just repurpose this content and make sure you're showing up somewhere every day. But I do think it can, it can kind of be tricky to try to keep up with different social media platforms. So if you want to just narrow it down to one to two, two places where you're consistently showing up, I think that that might be good to start with. And lastly, I want you guys to really think about what sets you apart from the crowd. Like in a world where everybody is literally doing the same thing like what makes you stand out in this market even if you go on tiktok everybody is trying to get the same target finds everybody's wearing the same clothes by the time you get to target the outfits aren't even going to be there anymore because everybody want to look the same so what are you going to do in this climate to make yourself stand out and i think that starts with just being your authentic self be comfortable with sharing who you are and I, I say do this with discretion. Don't get on here and start telling y'all like the most crazy stuff, but tell stuff that's gonna invoke feelings. You don't wanna get on here and be boring. You wanna be get on here and be real. And a lot of times people are afraid or they have this imposter syndrome to where they're like, I'm just a girl from Detroit. Like, okay, but like there's somebody waiting on the other side of your obedience to hear your story that might light a spark in them that pushes them to their destiny. So do not be afraid to show your uniqueness. Do not be afraid to show your story. Have your story down pat. Get comfortable with showing your uniqueness because I, honestly, like in this world, Nothing is new under the sun. We are all doing the same thing, but what makes people want to come to you is your uniqueness, your story, how you resonate with your audience. And the thing is like, you don't wanna attract just followers. You want to attract true fans who ride for you. You wanna attract fans who will share your story. You wanna attract fans who will actually buy things from you. You want to attract people who will speak your name in rooms that you are not in. Those are the kind of people that you wanna attract. And you will attract these people through being authentic. So, that was a lot, but that was like, that is personal branding in a nutshell. Who are you? What do you have to offer? Make sure you're showing up consistently for yourself. And I know we're talking about social media in this video, but think about that outside of that. Think about how you're showing up at work. Like literally think about how you are showing up in this world and how you're gonna make your mark. And so with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and close the video out. If you guys have any questions on personal branding or any ideas that you wanna hear from, please let me know in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you. Never be scared to leave your hometown to grow. As much as you love your hometown, it's the one place that'll kill your dream if you stay there too long. You move to a new city, you lose nothing. You only gain an opportunity that can change your life. The thing about your hometown is it's never gonna change. You can always come back and do the same thing that you've been doing with the same people. But you go to a new city, it might be a new relationship that can change your life. It might be a new job opportunity that never been possible for you.